All right, here's a neat one. Um, I got this DM. I get this DM all the time. Hey, do you have your hot tips? These hot tips are like little little tips that I tweet out about web development. I usually put a flame emoji at the start. Um, and I just like tweet them out and then they get lost after like a, a couple of days and nobody sees them ever again. Um, so what I thought I would do is use a, a Twitter collection to collect them all. And, and the way that that works is that you have to like find the tweet from when you originally tweeted it, find this little arrow, drag it out. That didn't work. Drag it in. And then that's it. And, uh, so I was like, okay, well, that's a lot. Um, I went and downloaded my Twitter archive, which is for some reason only gave me the last 20,000 tweets. And I have like 63,000 tweets, which is silly. Um, but it's it's enough that since I started doing hot tips in 2015. Um, so I downloaded them all and it's a like a 70 meg file, 216,000 lines, which is like props to VS Code for being able to scroll this, this 216,000. Wait, no. One, two, two million lines of code. Maybe all of them are in here. Anyways, props to VS Code for handling this like a chat, a champ. Like if I were to just search for like Hamilton. Like, look at, look at how fast this is. VS Code is the best. Um, anyway, so I put those in a variable and exported it from a variable. Then I created this findhotties.js, which um, it will read the tweets, all of them. Um, and then it filters them for ones that start with a hot tip. So like start, this is the flame emoji. Uh, if I were looking in here, you'd see, see, this is the, the flame emoji. So I want to, I want to find ones that start with that. Um, and then I just pulled up three pieces of data that I need the actual tweet text. Cause I'm interested the URL. Cause that's what you need to add a tweet to a collection here. Um, and then I sorted them. They're weirdly not in order. Um, so I had to sort them based on the time and I just use a timestamp for that. Uh, then I just dump them into this tips JS and that's what I get here, which is however many lines of code, 1,600 lines of code. And I want need to then loop over them, add them to the collection. And, um, as far as I can see, there's no API for doing this. I didn't look that hard, but I thought like, I'm just going to script it in my console. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And um, what needs to happen is I need to copy the tips.js. And I'll put it up here. We'll say const to add is equal to. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Okay. Um, and then what we do is we loop over the tweets. Oh, I was filtering them for starting with because I wasn't doing that earlier. That's not needed. Um, in this case, I'm just mapping over it to get an array of each URL. Um, and then I grab that input, which is this sucker and the button, which is that via query selector. Um, and then I am using for of here. This is a really good use case for for of, because if you need to do something sequentially one after another, um, it's kind of hard to do that with like a dot for each, but for of will respect awaiting inside of it. So um, in my case, I'm just waiting one second. Um, and that seems to work in a couple little tests that I've done. I'm sure I could check if it got added, but who cares? One second, it works just fine. I'll be able to add them in, in a couple of minutes. So should we try it? Paste it in and unexpected identifier. What did I goof up? Two ad has already been declared. Oh, because I did this, these should be called tweets. And this, Ooh. this tweets that map. Okay. That works. Got to refresh it one more time. Paste it in. Now to add is an array of 339 tweets and I should be able to type go boom. And now it's going through each one and waiting a second and adding each one over another. I might hit some sort of like spam rate. I'm sure that's how spammers work. They just script the web UI. Um, but I'm just going to let this thing go uh, until it stops working. And uh, I'll just leave it running for a second, come back once it's all done. All right, I had to go somewhere, so I just let it run, and it actually looks like it worked out. So 
pretty cool. Hopefully you enjoy that. Catch you in the next one.